I just wanted to show um, just a little project I've had. So I've been uh, changing the floor in my whole house from a uh, carpet. I ripped out all the original carpet, 20 year old, and put in this um, vinyl, luxury vinyl plank, LVP flooring. Um, it, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best. I just got it at Home Depot about $2.40 a square foot. Um, if I redid the whole project, I probably would have bought slightly nicer stuff, but it's done now. This isn't like a, the best house ever on the block, so just making it look a lot better than what it was originally. So um, what, what happened was, uh, um, what the, the thing I'm trying to show here is I had used to have my desk in this corner. This is like kind of an office. Um, and what I'm doing is we're making it a guest room and the desk takes a lot of space, so we're gonna end up putting it in that closet. It fits perfectly width-wise. It sticks out maybe in two inches, so my desk will be in that closet. I'll put a curtain to kind of cover the monitors and stuff. There'll just be a desk with a chair there, and then there'll be the guest bed and everything here. Um, so I need to move the ethernet, and I could just do it through the attic. And, you know, I could have just ripped this one out, or I could put, put a new, new one into my um, wiring closet. But instead, what I did was to just move it from what, this location to the other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this keystone, take this plate off, push that keystone out. And then I have a ethernet that I ran... Up and what I needed to do, I think there's the sill plate. I just poked through until I found where the sill plate ended, drilled through there, pushed the, um, the Cat 6 in and just pushed it up. And I, I actually already pulled it up there and, and tied it um, to this. But what I'll end up doing is I'll terminate the, the, cat, the loose Cat 6 in there, um, terminate with a male end, plug it into here, and then zip tie them together. So this will all be hidden though. The only thing here is just gonna be this USB, which goes to my, the closet too. Um, so basically you'll have, um, the ethernet will just continue. It'll be accessible here, but you zip tied to that USB. And then it'll go down here and go all the way around underneath, next to the sill plate underneath the baseboard. It actually fits pretty well. You can, um, there's plenty of space. Um, I've heard of people putting wiring under their um, baseboard, behind their baseboard, and it actually works really well. So um, yeah, their baseboard would be like that and you can't see it at all. The main thing I just need to do is, um, so I just mark here not to nail, because I don't want to end up when you put the baseboard in, you, you typically nail a bunch into the sill plate and then every once in a while you nail up the top. So that just holds the baseboard into place, but you don't want to nail right onto the wire because it'll damage the wire. So I'll probably just put a little pencil mark. Don't nail here and then just put the baseboard in. So yeah, so that'll be connected there and then that'll go all the way into that closet. It's just, you can see it's just tucked behind there. It's even tucked behind this. Um, this kind of used to be like a closet door rail and I took all, pretty much all of that out. Um, goes around and I you mostly just tuck it in a couple places I nailed it because it wasn't being held um, but then um, here the, the same as the thing go above the sill plate plate and push it in and then I just pulled it out here so and then here I'll just terminate another um, keystone jack and then uh, my desk can be right here only thing about the desk though is I won't have power so I'll just have to have a single power cord go here and I'll have a splitter um, have a surge protector on my desk actually it's already on there so that's pretty much it um yeah this is a quick little hack to get wiring here without having to redo anything in my attic um so not that i'm opposed to going in my attic and doing the work but uh, i didn't need the wiring there anyway and um this is one less wire i have to run into my wiring closet so i think this this worked out most efficient way in this case so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and get some value out of it see you guys later